Today I am coming at you with another unboxing of Louis Vuitton and this was another one of the items that I was able to pick up from the Louis Vuitton flagship store in none other than, you guessed it, Paris. Obviously, where else would it be? And I picked this up last time I was over there when I was traveling in Europe. We went to a couple different countries and major cities there and I couldn't resist going a little crazy when I was over there just because the price point is so much better than here. So if you ever have a chance to go there, definitely splurge and get all of the bags you want because they are so much cheaper over there than here in the US. But I am going to be unveiling all of the items that I got in different unboxings just so that way you can kind of come along with me and you can see each individual item I got. So just keep checking my channel. I have already unveiled one of the unboxings from Louis Vuitton and there are a few more to go. So just stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the bag here with the item inside. So let's get the box out. Here we go. And if you have not already watched some of my other videos, I was staying across the street actually on the Champs-Élysées at the Marriott Hotel there. And that is about, it's just like across the street and maybe one or two blocks down from the flagship store. So I had the opportunity to go there and visit the store a few times. And that store is absolutely massive. I mean, other than the size though, and they have an amazing selection, the interior really is not that much different from any other Louis Vuitton stores and because it is so popular it was really crowded and it did take a while after you waited in line for depending on how busy it was half an hour to an hour to get in you did then also have to wait for a sales associate to be available and help you and that process did take a long time it's definitely worth going and visiting but if you are somebody that just wants to get in and out buy your items and go or maybe that maybe you're in a rush or something then I would say probably Probably skip that store. There is another store on Montaigne and that is uh, that's a little bit south I want to say it's probably a 10-15 minute walk from the flagship store so if you go to the flagship store you see that there's a big line you don't want to wait just buzz on down to the other store and from there it's literally a four minute walk from an awesome view from the Seine River and the Eiffel Tower so definitely worth checking out even if you do go to the flagship store just take a little stroll around the area which I'm sure if you're in Paris that's what you're going to be doing anyway but I just wanted to give you that little tip here. So anywho, well, let's open this up and see what we got. So there is the dust bag here. And these boxes are amazing, especially if you are traveling because they do break down and they fit so easily in your suitcase. If you have a full size suitcase, they fold really flat and they're it's awesome to travel with those. It's a little bit easier than with the Chanel boxes that don't break down at all. But if you don't know how these break down, I did make a video on that as well and I will link that down below. So make sure that you check that out too. So here is the dust bag and let's get inside. See what we got. There we go. And this is the Speedy Bandolier 30, Speedy 30 Bandolier <laughs> in the Damier Azure print. So this is my ultimate summer bag. Here we go. I am so excited to start carrying this for the summer. It is just in time for the spring and summer season. We are finally getting out of the rainy season, so I don't have to worry about the fascetta getting damaged by rain or water or anything like that. I can just carry it and go on all of the nice sunny days, and it is the perfect color for spring and summer to go with all of my outfits for that. And the reason that I got the bandolier version, as you probably already saw in my other video of my Speedy Bandolier 30 and the Damia and Ben unboxing, I am a crossbody girl through and through. I love being hands-free, but I love that this gives you multiple options. The functionality of this bag is absolutely amazing. It holds so much, especially with this being the 30. The 25 also holds a lot. I did not want to have to deal with the really small opening, though, of the 25. Even this one has... A somewhat small opening maybe I'm just used to the never full but uh, this one is way better than the 25 opening but I love the fact that you can take the strap off and then you just use this with the top handles as a hand carry bag if you so desire dress it up a little bit that way so let me get inside here and we have the little pouch and this has the lock and the keys if I can get this open there we go. So we have 
the lock and the keys here. And that's another great thing about this bag. If you did want to carry this in crowds, then you can always lock it up and make sure that you do have all of that extra security. And then inside here also, we have the bandolier strap. And so this one came all apart here in the three pieces. So what's great about the fact that there are three pieces is first of all, you can change the length within the pieces because it does have the three holes, but you can either put all three pieces on if you did want a longer strap for the crossbody, or you just do the two end pieces. So that would be, uh, looks like this piece, oh, obviously the ones with the little hooks. So you would just do these two straps together. And when you put those together, it is going to create obviously a longer strap than the top panel that it already comes with, but a shorter strap than the cross body. So you can have that be just a shorter shoulder bag this way. So the functionality of this bag, you can wear it so many different ways. It holds so much inside. I love the color because obviously I don't have a color with the Azure print yet. And so I am really excited to carry this for the spring and summertime. And I picked the size because it is the medium size. It is a super classic style. and. I am not really nervous getting the Azure print. I know a lot of people are kind of nervous about color transfer. On um, this one, it's a top panel back, so you wouldn't have to worry too much about color transfer that way. Obviously, if you went with the never full, then that would just be on your shoulder and you don't have to worry about that rubbing on your jeans. Uh, this does have the bandolier strap, so it can be worn lower as a crossbody and it potentially can rub on your jeans there. But since it's an Azure print, I'm gonna be wearing it in the spring and summertime. I'm already gonna be wearing light colors. So I would just make sure that if I do carry it as a crossbody bag, then I would just be wearing white jeans and light colors with it and then I don't have to worry about color transfer at all that way. So I did wanna show you one other thing here and this is kind of like a bonus unboxing. This is another piece that I got when I purchased this bag here and I'm gonna show you what is inside this box. And so the sales associate threw in a few of these perfume samples and I'm gonna walk you through these real quick as well just in case you haven't had a chance to go there, talk with an associate and go over these. So. She put in three of them because the way she was showing me was I smelled them all individually on their own and they really didn't stand out to me. And um, one particular one wasn't better than the other. And they are, I think it's like $250 if you get the full size. And that is a pretty penny for a perfume that I'm not completely in love with. But what was really cool is the associate took the time and she showed me that if you layer certain scents, maybe this was her way of making me buy two of them. I don't know, obviously I didn't buy them, I just got the samples, but she was showing me, just so I wanted to share this with you, but if you layer two scents together, it completely transforms the smell. So it was the Apogee, and this is the key to everything. So the Apogee smells amazing, but it's not amazing enough for me to just wear it on its own, but if you mix it with some of the other scents, so you layer them, so you're gonna spray on one of these other scents first, and then you spray the Apogee on top of it, it completely transforms it. It tones down some of the, the stronger notes in the other scents that I wasn't too fond of, and it lifts up the lighter ones, and it just completely transforms it into a different scent that I really loved. So the other two that she gave me, I'm um, hopefully I can pronounce these correctly, it looks like, I think it's Milf, Milfoy, Milfo, and then the other one is the Rose de Vence. It's more of a rose smell. I don't remember what the Milfo was, but the two favorite ones, the combinations that I really liked were the Apogee and the Milfo. Milfo, Milfoy. I don't speak French. Uh, I'm, at least I'm not like Mille Fiox. Yeah, I know that's not right, but those were the two I would highly recommend trying. She also had me try the rose because I really like rose smell, but it was just a little too overpowering. The Apogee, I remember it was White Lily, so it really changed things. So if you have a perfume at home, she also suggested, you can layer the Apogee on top of other perfumes and again, it transforms the scent. So if you have a chance to go to the store, try these out, def I definitely recommend layering those if you don't like any single one specifically. So just a little thing, kind of a side note to the actual unboxing of what I purchased there. <laughs> um, but here I have 
a luggage tag that I picked up. And so this one I got hot stamped with my initial A and that is in the hot pink. I think it might've been like a fuchsia or magenta. And then I have a light pink heart and then a shiny gold dog since this was the year of the dog. And so I picked this up so that way I could have it on this bag here. And isn't that so cute? I love the light pink because even though this does not have the light pink interior, I uh, usually like with the Neverfull, it comes with the pink interior or you can select this, but I like the pink interior. So it kind of just reminded me of that. I love the pink against the azure. So I thought that was perfect. I have a couple different shades of pink here. I have the gold because all of the hardware and everything is gold. So I think it really just ties all of the colors in together. I'll be wearing a lot of light colors during the summer when I'm wearing this bag. So I think that is just so adorable. And the price point on the bag charms that Louis Vuitton has is a little bit high for me for being a bag charm. There are some that are like $500, $600, and if it was me, I would rather use that money for like a small leather good or towards a larger bag. It just, it's not worth it for me, but if you throw on just a luggage tag as the bag charm, these were, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks, way more affordable and super cute. So that's something else to keep in mind if you're interested in getting a luggage tag or a bag charm or something to, that's Louis Vuitton that you want to spruce up your bag with. Another thing I wanted to address with you real quick, which is a question that comes up constantly, is regarding this split at the top. Now, a lot of people think that this is because of a defect or it's cracking or there's something wrong with it. And I just wanted to remind you that these are in fact luggage tags. So this is actually where you're going to be putting your information in at the top. Sometimes people use these so much as purse charms, they forget that these are supposed be for luggage and have your information. So that top split is where you would put in your information and then this front flap here actually opens up and that's where you are able to see your information. So if you do get one that has a split that is perfectly normal, that's how they are all made. So don't think that something is wrong with yours. You have one that is perfectly fine. And I wanted to add in one more thing here and that is the size of this dust bag. So typically they don't give you a dust bag this large, but I did request them to see if they could give me a larger one because when I store my speedies I like to have them nice and poofed up because I don't want to have to deal with all of these creases and it takes a lot of time for them to work themselves out and I think it just helps maintain the structure of the bag overall so I just want to be able to grab the back and go and have it look amazing so I always stuff my speedies whenever I store them and I do plan to get an organizer for this I don't mind the bag sag at all that's not why I get the organizer and I wouldn't even consider a base shaper but I'm getting the organizer for it because I like to have everything sectioned out inside because if you can see this, this is a pretty good sized bag and on the interior it is just like a black hole. So I don't want to have to be digging and sorting through everything to find it. So I am going to put an organizer in here and that is also going to help maintain its shape while it is stored. But I did get the larger dust bag so that way while it is poofed up like this, it will easily fit inside because the normal dust bags that they give you only fit it if it is folded down. So that's just another thing to note here. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through of this bag, just in case you're not familiar with Speedies or Speedy Bandoliers. So the Speedy refers to the style and that is the barrel shape here with the double top handle. The Bandolier refers to the strap. Uh, so this does have an extra piece of Vachetta, which is that untreated leather and that everybody's always so worried about with the patina and the water spots and all the staining and everything. So this one is not quite as carefree as the Dom Damia Ben, which is that dark chocolate checkered print because the Damia Ben does have the treated leather, but this is just, it looks so gorgeous against the Azure because it's, they're both white. So with the bandolier, and let me grab the strap here again, so you can hook that on these little rings on the side here, and then you can wear that as the crossbody. So that's what makes this so much more functional than just a standard Speedy. I like the fact that I could turn this into a standard Speedy. Obviously, I would still have the Vachetta pieces on the side, but I just take the bandolier off and then boom, it is a top handle hand carry bag. And then looking at the inside, this one unfortunately does not come with the option to get the pink interior. It is just the beige interior, but it does have this pocket right here, which is a pretty good size pocket that does zip close for security. And then it does have this extra little D-ring right there that you can hook on a key clay 
or your keys or whatever you would possibly need right in there. And then on the exterior here, underneath this D-ring, it is printed with a 30 and that refers to the size. So this being a speedy 30 means that it is 30 centimeters from this point to this point in length. So they go from 25, I think they may make a 20, I'm not sure, but uh, they go from 25 for sure, 30, 35, 40. And then from there, you get into the key ball styles, which are essentially the same. They have a little bit more of a shedded because they are more luggage pieces. So they're made to hold a lot more items and they, the heavier the item, you know, you don't want to have to worry about canvas or anything ripping or tearing. So those are slightly different, but you can pick pretty much whatever size you want, depending on what your lifestyle and needs are. Uh, this does have the little stamp over here where it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Obviously, since I purchased this in France, it's going to be hopefully made in France. I don't know if they sell any that aren't made in France. Um, maybe uh, one in Spain would slip through, but I couldn't imagine them making one in the U.S. and shipping it back over there. Uh, I know that a lot of people here in the U.S., if you purchase them in the U.S., they always want to try to find one made in France. The quality is pretty much the same across the board. Um, it does look a little bit nicer, though, having that extra printing right there. There's not a gap at the bottom. And some of the made in US ones don't say made in US, they just are blank. So that's not really as fun or as nice, but uh, this one purchased in France, made in France. So that is all about the kind of exterior and the run through of this beauty bag. So I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I am going to be enjoying using this bag. I can't wait for the warmer weather to completely come. It's starting to warm up a little bit. I know that out east they were getting some snow more recently. So hopefully that all subsides. I think that if it would just maintain like maybe 70 to 80 degrees year round, that would be amazing, but alas, that cannot be. So I'm really excited to start using this. If you also enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, just give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions on this bag or you wanna share your Azure pieces with me, I would love to hear about it. Just leave me a comment down below and I'd love to chit chat with you guys too. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you hit the subscribe button just so that way you are notified whenever I upload a new video, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And until next time, thanks for stopping by. With Sponsored by Louis. No. Ooh, it's so fancy. It's so fancy.